chase freedom. Get it free at chase.com slash freedom. You're watching Money Matters. The holidays are here, and for many of us, that means finding the perfect gift for friends and loved ones. But it is not always that easy, of course, and sometimes you need some extra help. There's a new website out there called This Next that hopes to give you some ideas for products that may not be so mainstream. For more on this, we're joined by Gordon Gould. He is the CEO and co-founder of Next.com. Gordon, how are you? Good morning. Good uh, morning. Fine, thanks. Good, nice to have you here. So how does this work? How does This Next, I should say, work? Uh, well, ThisNext.com, it's a social shopping site where people go to recommend products to each other. It's basically the online equivalent of asking your friends, like, what products should I get? Um, we all have friends who are experts in parenting or technology or cooking or whatever it is, and we turn to them for advice. And so we've now taken that behavior and allowed people to do it online instead of just uh, in their local environment. So, Gordon, if I went to ThisNext.com, would I be getting recommendations just from people I knew or just from the community in general that goes to the website? from the community in general and so that's the beauty of the internet is you can now connect to people who have similar interests to you no matter where they live and so we allow bloggers and myspacers and other people like that to recommend products for you so if you're into parenting or cooking or what you're fly fishing or whatever it is that like floats your boat you can go out and find other people who know lots about that area and help them and they can help you find stuff that's going to uh, be a great product and a fit for your for your life Got it. And so what exactly do you see when you go on the site? You see a list of products and are there, are there star ratings or something like that next to them? What, how, what, what's the interactive experience like? Yeah, it's, it's a very visual search uh, and discovery process. So when you go onto the site, you can see like a list of products based on what you've been looking for. So you'll see images of the various different products. And people can actually also upload images of, the, of, their, of their own, uh, of them using the products in the wild, as it were. So you'll see lots of different products. You'll see the recommendations that they've made about them, why they like those products, and what other related products uh, are relevant to you based on what it is you're looking for. Gordon, how did you and your co-founder come up with this idea? Yeah, uh, it's a good, a good question. Uh, I'm a parent, and so when I, when I first got my, my baby daughter, uh, when she arrived, I realized there was no instruction manual that came with her. So I was constantly asking other parents for advice about what kinds of products should I use, what clothes, what food, what toys. Uh, cribs, you know, furniture, the whole thing. And I realized that like the parents network actually knew much more about what kinds of things I, I should get to help me and my family have a quality experience than I could figure out on my own. And then thought about that and said, hmm, this would be a great thing to be able to put online and help other people to find stuff quickly and easily. Because there are about 60 million products on the market in North America today. So there's a huge wow. amount of stuff out there. And if you just know what it is that you're interested in, uh, and if people can help you find that, that's terrific because, you know, we all work hard for our money, so we don't want to waste it on products that aren't appropriate for us. So, Gordon, do you guys cover kind of the full spectrum of consumer products out there? full spectrum. Yeah, it's what people are interested in. Uh, I mean, we're very heavily focused in uh, sort of home and cooking, uh, fashion and design. We've got a lot of technology in there as well. Uh, there, we also have a lot of outdoor sports. That's an area that I'm personally interested in. Mm. Uh, so we have experts from different domains. We've got Olympians in there. We've got professional chefs. We've got, uh, you know, noted experts on parenting. We've got technologists. The whole gamut is in there. And I noticed when I, when I looked at the website, there's actually no advertising on the site, but rather users' recommendations are, are almost their own ads. Do you, do you guys generate revenue if a person buys a product that they say, uh, that, they, that they mention on this next? What's the, what's the revenue model? Uh, there's, we generate revenue in a couple of different ways. I mean, we're a new site, um, so we just launched in time for the holiday shopping season. So we do make some money off of it if people buy a product off the site. Uh, we will also be rolling out advertising and various different marketing uh, uh, solutions for our brand marketers. We think that that's really the big opportunity is to help people who have a product find their audience. And so uh, brand marketers need to connect to users uh, out in the user-generated world of the Internet uh, and they don't currently have a good solution to do that, and that's what we provide for them. Got it. So how do you guys so, go out and, and find the, the people to give the recommendations? 
it's all totally viral. They all come to us. So it's like huh. people want to express themselves. And I mean, we've seen the explosion of interest in things like MySpace and, and YouTube online, but there's no good place for people to recommend products. And so we see ourselves almost as like a Wikipedia for products. Got and so it. people can go there and, and make their recommendations and be known for the kinds of things that they're interested in. So like right now, there's a big focus on gift guides. And so there are a lot of different people who are making gift guides around parenting products or outdoor products or green products. Um, so you, if you go on to thisnext.com slash gui gift guides or slash guides, you can find all the various different gift guides that people have put up there. And how, how detailed can people be in their recommendations or, or I guess non-recommendations of a product? Is it simply a matter of a rating system or can they get into to blogging or, or, or giving a little bit more detail about why they like or don't like a product? Uh, they can give as much or as little detail as they want. I mean, some products, like, you know, people are just uh, very enthusiastic about and they'll say that, you know, that's rad or that's cool or something like that. Other products where you have uh, people who have a lot to say will write, you know, paragraphs and paragraphs about it. So very it's, cool it's really up to the recommender. And the idea is that you want to be able to find people who speak to you. And so you might not want to read you know, nine paragraphs about something. You might want just a really quick summary about it. So you can see who's made those recommendations, how they talk about it, what else have they made a recommendation about, and do they speak to you? Do, is what they say relevant to you? And you could actually click through to their own blog if they have a blog as well. Very interesting stuff, a, a new and uh Seems like kind of a fun way to do some holiday shopping. So Gordon Gould, thanks for joining us. Good luck with the business. Thank you very much. And for more information and product and gift ideas, you can check out the website, www.thisnext.com.